What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over sparse arrays. Um, so basically there is a collection of strings, input strings, and a query of query strings. So for each query, determine how many times uh, it occurs in the list of input strings, and then return an array of the results. So that's the problem. So the, the example is that, let's say we have this array of strings A, B, A, B, A, B, C, right? And then um, we have queries A, B, A, B, C, B, C. So basically, we want to return all the queries for each query in here. We want to return the number of times this, this string appeared in the array. So here we have queries A, B. It sh should return two, two times because A, B appeared twice in the array of strings, right? We have one here and then one here. Then we have ABC and ABC appeared once in here, right? It appeared once in our array of strings. We have one ABC in, in the array of strings. And then BC has zero because there's no zero, there's zeros. There's nothing in here in the strings. Okay, so I'm gonna explain how to do this problem. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I am not actually gonna use any other library besides arrays. And the reason why is that um, if you're not going to, like, because th this problem type is arrays, so I'm not going to use maps and I'm not going to use sets. But there are really easier ways to do this if you use a map, a hash map or a set, hash set. Right, you could always do something really easy and you could solve this problem really easily. But I'm going to do this using only arrays, okay? So um, to do this problem using only arrays, what you're going to do is you're going to have another array called the count, right? And this array is going to, for each element in your strings, it's going to loop through all the values in here and count how many times it actually appeared in the string. So let's say we have AB here, right? This count array at, at this index of AB of zero, is gonna store how many times a, b appeared in this array, so it's gonna store two. It's gonna loop through all the values in, in this array, and then it's gonna count how many times it's gonna, here it's gonna have two. Now in the second column here, a, b also, we're gonna count how many times this appeared in the array also, and it's gonna be two as well, because there's two, two a, b's here, so we're just gonna have two here. And then a, b, c is going to have the number of times it appeared in this array, which is it's gonna loop through and it's just gonna have one. Okay, so now we have two, two, one. Okay, in, in our in our strings, it's gonna have two, two, one. So then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop through queries. And then for each query, what we're gonna do is we're just going to loop through the strings and check does this query equal to the any of the elements in this in, in the strings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop through queries and see, okay, there's A, B. Now, is there an AB in my array of strings? If there is, then I'll just go check the, what, print out the count that it has, right? So here, AB appeared twice, right? Because uh, there we have our count array, so it's just gonna print out two. And then we have ABC, right? We have ABC. It's gonna loop through the strings and check, okay, does ABC, is our queries at ABC equal to ABC? So if it does, okay, it's just gonna print out one, the count of one and then they'll print that out. And then we have BC, it's gonna loop through all the strings of here. Check, does it equal to BC? Um, there's none of them, so it just it's gonna just return zero. Okay? So that's basically the gist of it. Um, there's actually not much, uh, not, much, not much to do, so I'll just explain the code now. So here, uh, I, I know it's not efficient, but it's actually, this is actually, I think this is how they want us to solve the problem. Otherwise, it wouldn't make any sense for, it wouldn't make any sense for them to have this problem in, in arrays. All right, so here I have a the array of count, which is gonna be total. I call it total. You can count whatever, it, you could have it as whatever. It's gonna equal to the size of the strings. So here we have strings, it's gonna equal to the size of that. Then I have a array of results. So this results is good, just going to store um, the result for each query, right? So we're looping through the queries and then see, oh, does DE, what is the result for DE? I'll print that. What is the result of IMN? I'll print that. What is the result of FGN? I'll print that. Okay. 
So um, what do I do first? I loop through my strings of all the strings and strings. And then I loop through my strings again. Okay, so I, I'm going to start from zero and go to the length of strings. And I'm going to loop through it again from zero to length of the strings. And each time, I'm going to keep track of the count and I'm going to increment count the number of times it, it looks, uh, it sees this string, right? So then basically what I'm doing is I just look at a b, right? I'm gonna, then I'm going to loop through a b again. Uh, I, so look, I, I see a b, right? Then I'm going to loop through the strings and count how many times a b appears in this strings. So does this equal to a b? Yes. Plus one. Does this equal to a b? Yes. Plus one. Does this equal to a b? No. So our, our count will be two. And then I'll do the same thing for the rest, right? So that's what this is. So I loop through in the beginning. I go to the end. I check if it's equal to strings j, then I count plus plus. And then, um, then I just set my total, which is my total array of count is going to equal to count, right? The number of times it appeared. So maybe we should call this like, um, let's see. It's instead of total, uh, let's call it count actually count and here. Let's just call times. Okay. Times, 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 and this is count. Right, this, this is the number of times it appears, um, and this should be count. Okay, so loop through, check a number of times, does he appear in it, then times plus plus, and then I just set my current count of i is going to equal to the number of times it appeared, and if it does, then yeah, that's good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop through my queries now, and then I loop through my queries, start from beginning to the end. And then what I'm going to do is I have to loop through again through strings in order to see if it equals to it, right? If my current string, uh, if, in order to see if it like, so if go back to here, um, does it appear in your, does your queries appear in your strings, right? So I, I loop through or A, B, right? I have queries A, B, A, B, C, B, C, right? I'm going to check, does A, B appear in my strings, right? So I loop through, oh, it does, appears through it. So if it does appear through it, I just print out the count at the current index, so that'll be two. So that's what I do here. So yeah, here uh, I have queries, I loop through the queries, and then I loop through check uh, exists. This should be exists, not inside. Let's call it exists. So originally I said exists to false to say that, hey, it does not exist yet, but I'm gonna loop through the strings and then I check, okay, does this, do I find a, do I find a, the same string in my strings array? So if I do, all I do is just, I just print out the count at this current uh, query at this current index of i. Yeah, I just print that. I just uh, push back that because that'll be the, um, that'll be the count at it, right? That'll just be the count of where it's at. And, and then I set my exists to equal to true and then I break. So if exists um, is equal to false, then I just pr uh, push back to zero. Okay, so that means we have zero results inside of it, right? There's nothing there. It does not exist here. So this loop is basically checking if it exists. If it exists, then I just, just return the count at the current index. So queries has, um, yeah, just return the count at the current index and it'll tell you it. But yeah, and after that, I just return results. So that's basically the gist of the code. Um, there's not much to it. Um, so yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. This is how you would do it using just arrays. And uh, if you submit it, I got to pass all the test cases. Oh wait, whoa, something, something went up. Did something bad? Oh, this should be J. My bad. Count should should be count at J. Yeah. So yeah, you're actually supposed to push back the count at the Jth index. So this is like the does it exist? This this is gonna check if does it exist in a query. If it does, I just push back the count the number of times this this string appeared in the array, the Jth one. 
So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. That's all the gist of this video. I'll check you guys later. Peace.